Yes, there will be no rest for the weary over the course of the next year as that pace towards July 18, 2016 is about to kick up a notch. Seven simple words one year ago. And the Republican National Committee has chosen Cleveland. Set in motion a frenzy that is evident in around downtown. Public Square busy with construction as part of its $32 million facelift. The RNC work staff slowly beginning to take up space in the Halley Building. And design crews are waiting word on whether they'll be converting the Gateway East Garage into a massive media workspace with rooftop lounge. The new Hilton Convention Center Hotel continues its monthly climb to 32 stories. Well, next door, the Hilton itself has already set up shop, a place where those looking to book the new hotel can actually see the new hotel. Many people want to actually see bricks and mortar, want to see what they're going to buy. So with having a showroom here, being able to walk through the showroom and give them, let them feel and touch the bedspreads and see the carpet and see the lighting we're going to put in, it gives them that comfort when they uh, sign the agreement with us. And while the rush is on to get the hotel ready for the RNC, the focus here is actually beyond it. We have a group coming in the next week uh, that, that sells out the convention center in our hotel and several other hotels, and that is our goal. This is just the springboard. One that the city is working to make sure goes off without a hitch. Now, still being worked out is the impact all this is going to have on the Cleveland Indians. We'll likely need to be out of town at least the week before and the week of the convention. Now, the good news is with the July 18th start date, part of that time will be covered by next year's All-Star break. In Cleveland, John Kosick, News Channel 5.